three, two, one. How's it going, everyone? It's your boy Corey here, aka Crasher, back with a new live stream. And ladies and gentlemen, in today's live stream, we are going to be doing a live reaction slash review of Pokemon Journeys. Episode 60, the rematch of rematches, the fight of fights, Ash versus Rinto, Gallade versus our boy Kabon. I absolutely cannot wait for this, all of this to get underway. So with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, hope you guys are ready, hope you guys are set, and I hope you guys are ready to fucking go. So, before we get underway with the main point of the live stream, a couple of the usual disclaimers I gotta give out to you guys, in case some of you guys that are new here don't exactly know how we do things here, let me break it down real quick. So, as you guys notice beside me, we have ourselves the little window, that's where the episode is going to be playing out. Now, you notice that A, it is somewhat transparent, and B... There is the Japanese Pocket Monsters logo that is stretched across. That is to avoid visual copyright from ShowPro. And also on the note of copyright when the actual episode goes to play out. There's not going to be any audio from the episode itself. I will be able to listen to the episode through these headphones. Now the reason for these stipulations is to avoid audio and visual copyright. So I want to apologize for the inconvenience, but this is legitimately the best thing that we can do to avoid incurring the wrath of ShowPro. But ShowPro's been like really good to us. I just, like it's it's so weird, but hey, I'm not complaining. You know what I'm saying? Um, as long as I get to do what I love to do for you guys, then you know what? My life's fucking complete, man. Like it's, 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 it's awesome that every single time that we go live, I get to share these experiences with you people, and you people enhance the shit out of my experiences, and everyone's experiences in general when it comes to this right here. So with that being said, let's see who we have here in the chat, baby. Let's see who we have here, man. Let's see. We have ourselves Bill, i.e. Viet. We have ourselves Sally. We got MMS Bloodhound, a.k.a. my teeny tiny little Cosmog brother. We have Rescue Squad. We have ITY Mega Blade. We have ourselves Dummy DSLP. We have ourselves Liam the Great Kidson. We have ourselves Pokelover174. We have Urkuri. What's going on? What's going on? We also have ourselves Nihit. We have ourselves Lauren, aka my teeny tiny cute little score bunny girlfriend. We also have ourselves Lorenzo. What's good, buddy? We also have ourselves Anaf. We have Sean Duar. We have ourselves Byron MD Zombie Dude 12 or 612. <laughs> Let's see what else we got going on here. We have Dragon Claw. That's a hell of a name, buddy. Ha! Dragon Claw. <laughs> oh man, you can tell I'm just absolutely hyped for this, and I have you guys to thank for this. We have ourselves uh, E. Blader, I hope I said that right. We also have ourselves uh, You're Dead, Not Big Surprise. We have ourselves Sam Direct. We have ourselves Ryan Don't Know. We have Captain Van Dyke. Let's see, oh, the chat just uh, skipped ahead a little bit. I hope I didn't miss anyone, I do apologize if I have. Uh, let's see here. We have Fallen Hero as well. What's going on? What's going on? Let's see. We also have Small Dawn. Yo, what's good? We have Harveya 1A. I hope I said that right. We also have Fazul J. We have Tamio. We have ourselves. Let's see who else we got going on here. I really, really hope I didn't miss anyone. Seems like we're packed to the rafters for an amazing show, and I hope you guys are ready for this. We also ourselves Super Mario Gamer 17. What is good? What is good? Now, I also do need to make a, another small little disclaimer, and that is once we actually get into the reactionary portion of this live stream, I'm not going to be able to be as attentive to you guys in the chat because I got to pay attention to what's going on to give a proper reaction and review, baby. You know what I'm saying? And Pull Viper, what is good? What is good? <laughs> Woo! I am, I am pumped up, man. I am absolutely pumped up. So, we're going to get things started once 12 o'clock hits. I am, I'm excited for this. And I got to make sure to stay hydrated as well so I don't lose my fucking voice. Because, God forbid, if I lost my voice during an epic reaction live stream, well, then that wouldn't be good. I would feel like an idiot and I'd have people roasting me for losing my voice like an idiot. <laughs> What's good, Donald Music? All right, 12 p.m. I hope you guys are fucking ready to get this, man. And before we begin, type one in the chat if you guys are ready. Type two if not. 
If you do enjoy what you see, if you enjoy the content, you enjoy the vibes, and you enjoy everything all around, hit the subscribe button and like up the stream. We do this type of thing every single time there is a brand new episode to be had in Pokemon Journeys. And, no surprise, I'm seeing a shit ton of ones. Alright. <coughs> Woo! Gotta get that dry heave out of my system because I am fucking pumped. And also, I'm wearing the infamous trainer hoodie because I've got a feeling that this episode's going to be fucking fire, man. It's going to be fire. All right. See? Let's do this, man. We're going to do a countdown. I hope you guys are ready for this. Three, two, one. It's come on time. Let's fucking bring it, man. All right. Here we go, guys. I'm excited. I am very much excited for this. I just, I can't wait to get into this. And begin! Like Sam Direct. Begin! Alright. All Champion Leon, baby. The Pokemon World Championships. A trial to crown the greatest Pokemon battler. Yes. In the hopes of battling Dante, the current Supreme Monarch. Satoshi is preparing, is participating, sorry, in the championships. Hey, there's Karina. Trainers from all over the world battle in their class. They battle other trainers in the class. And as a result of those battles, determine their current ranking in the world. Oh, oh yeah, here we go. Oh, that's a flashback. Never mind. Never mind. That's a flashback to episode... Uh, I can't remember what the episode uh, number was. Was it 53? I can't remember. <laughs> My old boomer brain can't remember that far back. <laughs> But we also have ourselves flashbacks to the Wickstrom episode. They're building shit up, man. This is going to be the third Come On Focused episode. And I wonder if the third if third time is going to be the charm, baby. I wonder if third time is going to be the fucking charm up in this. <sighs> Ash is ranked 273rd? Okay. How is he ranked that high? It would be nice to see some of his battles, you know? Rather than having that stuff happen off-screen over and over and over again. Come on, man. Ah! Alright, we have ourselves the intro playing. So, Dracovish is officially part of his team. Yes. And, uh, we haven't seen Dracovish since episode 51. That, that I remember. <laughs> At least Dracovish is shown. Yes. Off-screen battles. Yeah, I don't like them. I do not like them. But yeah, I can't believe it. Ash is climbing up. He's in the 200s now. And again, it'd be nice to see some of them battles. One, two, three with Ben Titty Maze. One, two, three with Crasher Reacts. And one, two, three with the Crasher Community. Pew, 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 pew. I am excited. I am very much excited. The come on, uh, the come on episodes have all been great. I, yeah, I agree. Like... Come on is one is is one of Ash's best Pokemon, if not the best Pokemon that he has in journeys right now. And I'm not fucking capping when I say that. Alright? I'm a hundred percent dead ass serious. As you can see the fiery brown eyes that I have right now. How would you rate your hype? Break the fucking scales. That's what it would do. I am excited for this, man. Come on. Snaps fingers. And one, two, three for all the come on. Yes. All right, we, we're, we're ready, man. We are ready. Aim to be the leak master. Adhere to the path of chivalry. Oh, here we go. Come on in, Scizor. Battling it out. Oh, 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 oh. Looking good, baby. Keep close, keep close to the distance or whatever. This is our last chance, Scizor. All right, now we got Detect happening. Nice. Crossroad kill. Come on, baby. Come on. That looks like it had a lot of force to it. Oh, Scizor's down to a knee. It hit. You did it. You did great, Scizor. Nice. Oh, there's Grookey. Wait, does Grookey want to fight? No freaking way. Are we going to get a Grookey fight in this? Yeah, Ash and Farfetch are very much in sync. 
We are noble knights after all. <laughs> Next up is the leak master. Is that really how being a leak master works? Hey, if we say it works, it works. Let's go to the Pokemon Center. Yeah, they would be tired from an intense battle like that, baby. Wow. Wait, are, are, wait we're not going to get to see Grookey fight? Come on. Oh, Grookey's riding on the back of the beanbag toy Pikachu. Oh. Pikachu notices something. And Grookey too? Is there something in there? Okay, okay, okay. Roots? Wait. Oh, that's a... That is a really sickly looking bell sprout there. What the hell happened to it? Okay. The hell's... What? Okay. What happened to it? Well, yeah, no shit. It does look worn down. Can Grookey heal it with its, uh, with the tap of its stick? Okay. Come on, Grookey. You got this, baby. Oh, oh. Hey! Yes! Bellsprout's healed! <laughs> nice. That reminds me, back then. Alright. We got a flashback to the Grookey episode. Tapping of the stick. And healing them flowers. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Bellspro seems really happy. Nice. Yeah, Grookey's powers do work on Pokemon. Okay. What is it, Grookey? Oh? You already made friends? Wait. It's almost as if Grookey wants... No freaking way! Grookey wants go to catch that Bellsprout there. Grookey's making friends already! Catch it! Alright! <laughs> okay. That is actually... That is... That is adorable right there. <laughs> and it, even a great throw to boot. Alright. Go got it! And Grookey is just so happy with his new friend Bellsprout. <laughs> and, well, I think that's Grookey's Pokemon now, Go. It's not your Pokemon, it's Grookey's Pokemon now. Grookey's, or Gro uh, Grookey's Pokemon slash pal. <laughs> Alright. Scizor and Come On are all healed up. I'm excited. I'm excited. Oh! And he slams that leak down. He is pumped. Oh? This is an official battle announcement. Oh! There's Rinto in the background. I see him. I see that Wally looking guy. He's got the lettuce hair. Oh, God. Oh, man, dude. I am, I am so excited. I'm so excited. Oh, yes. I battled you before. <laughs> it's been a while indeed. Oh? Oh! Oh, Gallade! Gallade and come on, lock your eyes, baby! Oh, shit! So you're participating in the championships. But I didn't get a notification last time. I only just entered at the time, so I was still in the normal class. So now you're in super class. Yeah, I see you are too. Has Farfetch been well? Better than well. He's even trained, he's even had training at, at Gampy's Place, one of the Callous Elite Four. So you've been to the Castle of Chivalry. You've heard of it? We even got Knight Medals. We also went through some harsh training there. Oh! It brings back memories, huh, Gallade? Oh, let's battle. Gee, I'm excited. I'm excited. <laughs> it won't go down like last time. I should hope so. I look forward to seeing your potential. Yeah, we're gonna shock you. <laughs> yes, there's the drone Rotom doing the analysis, baby. The matchup is contestant Rinto versus contestant Ash. <sighs> Thanks, Go. 
Huh? I wouldn't have uh, been having this battle if you haven't suggested going to the Pokemon Center. Go for the win, then. <laughs> okay. Pikachu, you'll be watching us too, right? Yes. The battle will be 1v1. Like Rocky and Hogan, baby. Let's fucking go. Three, two, one, go! Alright, here we go, guys. Aim to be a leak master. Oh, yes. Now we get to see an actual fair fight. I'll have you demonstrate how much you improved. Bring it on. <coughs> Consecutive cut. So, Fury Cutter, don't let him control the pace of the battle. Oh, I know. Here we go. Brush it off, Gallade. Okay. Block, block, yes. Crossroad kill, so nice slash two. <coughs> Use that detect. All right. Psycho cut. Uh-oh. Oh. That's going to do some damage. It's super effective, too. And the leak took some damage. It looks burnt. Wow. That leak took a heavy hit. They changed tactics and went straight at for a counterattack. Detect, huh? But since you battle with brute force, if your leak gets deflected even once, its weight throws off your balance. You truly are inadequate. If you're gonna keep calling them inadequate, then why don't you tell them what what they're lacking? You tell them go. I'm no gym leader. You can find the answer for yourself. So in other words, you don't have an answer because you're full of cap. All right, in fight. So that's close combat. And counter it with crossroad kill. Nice slash. Yes. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Detect. Nice. Fa oh, we got faint. No way. Oh, no. The leaf just got sliced. Right smack dab in half. There it is, folks. What we've seen in the fucking preview. Oh, shit. Things got real, real freaking quick. Ho, 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 ho. <clears throat> what you gonna do now, come on? His leak. He knew faint. That means he'll just break through if Satoshi uses Detect. You lost the will to fight? Without that leak. Okay. Hold on. Okay, okay. Why is Ash smiling? You can still use that leak, Farfetch'd. Come on. Remember our training with Mr. Gampy? The Gilgard! The Glygard, I'm sorry. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, Gilgard, not Gly Glygard. Let's see what they can pull off. Okay, he retracts the blades. Come on, the sword and shield! Alright. There's the flashback to, to the Witch Drum episode. We got Angelash using the shield, and now he's using the sword. So Ash is telling Farfetch to use both halves of the leak like a sword and shield. Just like I had thought in the preview reaction to this, baby. Just like I had thought. Oh, okay, okay. That's it. Aim to be a leak master. Can he battle like that? Okay. That mockery of a knight could never beat my go- Oh, you little bastard. Psycho cut. Block it, far-fetched. Alright. Did that work? Alright, he leaped in the air. Now use Night Slash. We'll use Night Slash too. Okay. Night Slash on Night Slash. Oh. <laughs> so you're still relying on brute force. Okay. Wow, he's wielding the slice of leak like a pro. Well, what'd you expect from come on? It's the fucking master, baby. Oh? 
Oh, now he can't move. But Gallade can't either. On the contrary, Gallade is in the perfect position to attack. That's right. Gallade can. Psycho can. Oh, shit. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh. oh. Sends him back and hits Ash. He's just toyed with him. Glade barely even taking any damage. I wonder what Mr. Gampy would say if he could see you now. Oh my god. Are you okay, Farfetch'd? Uh, come on, man. You can do it. Come on. Farfetch, you gotta get up and fight, baby. You got my hopes up about your potential, but I must say I'm a bit disappointed. Oh, you know what? Shut up, Lettuce Head. You're still far too inadequate for a foe for my Glade. Man. Ugh. Will you continue the battle? Come on. Continue. Come on. You got the guts. Be the Stone Cold Steve Austin. The toughest SOB. The toughest SOB in Pokemon. Yes, we're going to keep going. Oh, is that a change of attitude I see? I know how hard Come On is trained. I know more than anyone that he can do better. Let's get stronger and stronger together. Come on. Come on. Come on. You can do it. The fight ain't over until it's fucking over. We're both inadequate, but that's why we'll get stronger. I believe in come on. And I do too. Come on. You good to go? Come on. Come on. Come on. You got this, baby. Okay. Verified that come on wishes to continue battling. Here we go, Rinto, Gallade. Then you leave me no choice. Alright, here comes another Night Slash. Use Detect. Uh, is that gonna work? Consecutive Cut. Okay. Alright, oh! He actually got him! Okay, that was a hit right there. Now we got In Fight, Close Combat. Okay, oh! He's actually, he's actually doing damage to Gallade. And Gallade is like, what the hell is going on? Come on. Come on, Farfetch. You got this, baby. Come on, come on. You got this. Yes. Finish him with Infight. Uh, wait. That blue glow. And the sound. No, It's coming. It's coming, guys. It's coming. Huh? It's coming. It's actually coming! Oh my god! Surfetched! It's fucking here! Surfetched! Oh my god! Third time I knew it was gonna be the charm! <laughs> yes! 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 A million times! Yes! <laughs> He even kept his cry! Come on! More like Kiamon, but still, it's close! What a night indeed there, Rinto! <coughs> Surpassing himself to protect his lord. He has my respect. So Rinto now has a change of heart. He's not a douchebag no more. Will he use crossroad kills too? Oh, come on, buddy. Come on, come on, you got this. I'm gonna call him come on no matter what, because that's his fucking name. You're still feeling the damage from before? Then Gallade let down, let down your guard? The fuck? Why would he do that? Uh, he took the hit on purpose. Excuse me? What? Okay. What is Gallade up to? Good, this is Gallade's ability. We're justified! So that's why he got hit. The ability, Heart of Justice, boosts the attack by being hit by a dark type move such as Night Slash. Sets off his strong sense of justice and raises his attack power. Okay, okay, now we're fucking in it now. We are in it now. Okay, and he blocks the attack with the shield. Oh, <laughs> come on, you got this, baby. Let's get stronger and stronger. Champion Leon is waiting for us! <laughs> okay. 
Oh! Crossroad kill! They're both going for it! <laughs> oh! Oh! Gawain took the worst of that hit! Oh my god! He, he, Gawain is down! Gawain is out! Come on, wins! He wins! <coughs> he fucking won! Come on, won! Come on, indeed. Based on the results of this battle, the Pokemon World Championships ranking will be updated. Okay. What's his rank? Oh, it's going down. What? 184? That's a big jump. For being so fucking close. You'll show me your answer. We clashed with every with everything we had, but we couldn't win. Perhaps we, too, are still inadequate. Thank you very much. Okay, so we have, he went from being a douchebaggy lettuce head to being somewhat of a humbled lettuce head. Oh my god. Oh my fucking god, guys. His evolution into Kamon was so inspiring. <laughs> I know, right? And the way you quit, uh, you quit back at Rinto telling him that you believe in Kamon? Your words protected, come on. And in response, come on involved. To protect you, Ash. That is what a knight is all about. That true strength of a knight that Mr. Gampy mentioned. You really showed it off in that battle. Yes, he did. Yes, he fucking did. Oh, okay. Uh, wait. So, a vehicle drove by and got, got come on all wet. Are you okay, come on? Uh-oh. You see? He saved you from yet another pinch. Now that's chivalry. So he he, he thought Ash was going to be in danger of being hit? <laughs> what? What? Seriously? Oh my god. That's a mod's mod right there, folks. I'll tell you fucking what. Oh my god. Okay. Now, I know that I have, um, I have refrained from giving ratings until I do my review of the respective episodes, but you know what? I'm not fucking capping when I say this is a 10. Easily a 10. Easily, easily, easily a 10. This was, this was amazing. Amazing. Holy shit. Like, even though Come On evolved into Surfetched, it's always going to be called Come On in my eyes. The cry might have sounded a little bit different instead of, come, instead of it being Come On, it was like, Come On. So, but I absolutely love the fact that our boy retained his cry for the most part. Come On. And, yes, I agree, Pokelover. We, we're still calling it Come On because, one, it's simply too iconic and, and memorable to not call it, and two, it still speaks as though he's saying Come On. Not exactly, but it's really close. I agree. I agree. <coughs> I 100% agree. Oh, my God. I absolutely cannot believe this. Like that that's a fucking Chad right there. That 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 Pokemon went from being Chad to Chad. Like the Chadest of Pokemon. 100%. But you know something? Now that we ourselves come on evolved, I wonder, I wonder how Meteor Assault is going to look in the anime. I'm willing to bet that the animation is going to look sick. It is going to look sick. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. I'm excited. I am so excited. Now, here's the thing, all right? I really hope that this isn't the end for Kaman's character uh, growth. Because here's the thing. 
Yes, it evolved. And I had a feeling that the third time was going to be the charm, you know? The first episode was, you know, versus, um, versus Girder, which was a great fucking match. The second time being the charm was the, um, was the Wickstrom and Aegis Slash episode. And then this episode, the third come on focused episode was the charm, was, was the catalyst to evolution. I might, I, I, I'm pretty sure I, I, I was, you know, I made mentions of this before. I can't quite remember. <sighs> but seeing this in action, man. Seeing this in action. Too fucking good. Too, too good. But I really hope this isn't the end for our boy Chad Come On. You know what I'm saying? I really hope this ain't, this ain't the end. We need more of these episodes. We need more Ash-focused episodes. And no hate on Go, okay? Like, Go's a great character. But here's the thing, okay? Is that Ash and Go, they are co-protagonists. Meaning, equal. An equal amount of spotlight has to be shone on them both. And I do kind of feel like that recently, Go's been getting a lot more spotlight. Which, you know, on one end I can, un can kind of understand because Ash has over two decades worth of character growth, and Go is a new character, so he has, like, big shoes to fill, so to speak. But at the same time, man, come on. Like, just, Ash, Ash has a lot of good going for him. It's like, I want to see more Ash-focused episodes, too. And if we get more Ash-focused episodes, then there's a high, high chance that we could get more focus on our boy, ooh, no, la, 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 a.k.a. Dracovish, we could get more focus on Dragonite. We could get more focus on Lucario. We could get more focus on Ash's best Pokemon in the series being Come On. Again, no cap. Fight me about it. I'll, I will fight tooth and nail to that point. And, most importantly, Ash's Gengar gotta get more fucking development. He needs much better treatment. Like, you feel me? Like, seriously, I definitely feel like that, that Ash's uh, Gengar got royally shafted, <coughs> and it needs, it needs better, it needs better treatment. It needs better treatment. Beyond a shadow of a doubt. Woo! But what did you guys think about this episode out of 10, and give me your thoughts. I, I can already see that you guys have been, uh... Given your thoughts, let me let me read let me read some of what you guys had to say here. Man, oh man. Woo! Alright. Let's see. Yes, Mega Chad. Without a shadow of a doubt, they're falling. It is Mega Chad time. Reynaldo, Chad to Chad. Choice Scarf Dracovish with uh, Fishius Ren Sweep. Yes, I absolutely agree. Chad Thunderleaf. That's actually a good uh, a good name for our boy Camon. You know what I'm saying? Like it's it's the Chad Thunderleaf. That's that's one of its nicknames. I wonder if we can actually get that to become a thing in the Anypoke community. Uh, come on, aka Chad Thunderleaf. You know what I'm saying? That would be that would be amazing right there. That would be absolutely amazing. Uh, no, not Lucario. Made her one, maybe one or two times, but seriously, no. Practically the overshine star. But I, I, okay, wait, 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 wait. I understand. I understand. But I was, I was mentioning Lucario because I, I, well, I like Lucario. I really, really do, and I don't want him to like. I don't want to like leave him out. But you are right. He has had a ton of focus. A ton of focus. <sighs> Ash needs more world coronation belts. Yes. He does! Oh my fucking god. Like, okay. You know, here's the thing. Here is the thing, okay? <clears throat> um, one of the biggest complaints. One of the absolute biggest complaints that, uh, that you know, I have when it comes to the anime is the amount of untelevised Pokemon World Championship matches that Ash has had. And by untelevised, I'm talking about not, like, not shown on the screen. You know, not shown in the episodes. You know? Like, maybe some of those Go episodes could have actually focused on Ash and his battles in the World Championships. You know? Like, I just, ju just a thought. Just a, a, a thought, you know? Like, I'm just saying. Like, like, I, I, I... <laughs> You know, like, I just, I want to see, like, now, now that I'm, uh, 
now that I am, you know, talking about this, now that I'm, like, really, truly thinking about this, like, I can understand why some people might really, really be souring on Go, because he's been getting a lot of episodes focused on him, and some of those episodes could have been shifted to Ash's Pokemon World Championship battles, so that way we'd have actually had more action in, in the, in the series, Could, you know, like, just, like, Am, am I, like, am, like, what do you guys think of my opinion? Like, I'm just, I'm one dude with one opinion, and I respect anyone else's opinion, regardless of whether you agree or disagree. That's the beauty of opinions. If you agree, great. If you disagree, also great, because it means that I get to learn something new. <sighs> Go has caught more Pokemon than Ash has ever caught. Nah, I definitely can believe that, without a doubt. Without a doubt. So far, the only Pokemon Ash hasn't really bonded with is Dracovish. Yeah! <laughs> we need to have more Dracovish-focused episodes, too. Like, with that, like, beyond a shadow of a doubt. It's been almost two years, and Ash still hasn't, uh, still doesn't have a sixth member. Yes, he does. Doesn't he? Pikachu, Dragonite, Gengar, Lucario, Surfetched. Yeah, like that. He's got he's got a full team, doesn't he? Like that. Like he's got a full team. Unless um, unless uh, we're not counting Pikachu and we're counting like the new like specifically journeys based captures. Um, you know, like I um, yeah. Oh my, yes, full six. Cause yes, he's got Pikachu. He's got Lucario. He's got Dragonite, Gengar, Come on, and Dracovish. Imagine if a Pokemon World Championship starts this season. Yes, we need more championship battles focused in this series to make it, you know, also about Ash as well. You know, that would be great. Yes, Dracovish too. Like, yes, and it's 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 understandable if some people forgot that Ash caught Dracovish because we haven't seen Dracovish in action other than seeing it like having a small cameo appearance in the opening of every single damn episode. Dragonite next, most likely, since Iris is... Yes, Iris is returning. Um, I, I don't know when, but, like, we have seen Iris in the, um, in the opening. Uh, same with Gary. I really, really cannot wait to see when those... I can't wait to see those two return. It's gonna be great. And I really, really hope... I really hope that we get to see Ash's Dragonite interact with Iris's Dragonite as well. That would be absolutely amazing, without a doubt. I anticipate it'll be a little complicated when Ash rises to the Ultra League. One versus one battles shouldn't really be worth much, e uh, even in the case. Um, yeah, that's what like that. That's also another thing, right? Like one versus one matches are like they're so tricky to pull off. But <clears throat> the thing is, though, right, is that Ash when he had his one versus one match. You know, Girder versus Farfetch'd. They did that one versus one very freaking well. Same with with the battle we just witnessed with uh, with um, Come On versus Gallade. That was done very very well. But we we need to see more matches that ain't one versus one either, right? We need to see like a minimum of three versus three. So that way we get to see more focus on 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 more of Ash's Pokemon. You know. It'd be, it would be a higher chance for more of his Pokemon to get the spotlight. You know what I'm saying? Um, like, if it was 3 versus 3, like, we could see, you know, Gengar, Dragonite, Dracovish, or, you know, Dracovish, come on, Pikachu, you know, things like that, right? Um, goes right, you needs more screen time. Yes. Um, I, w <laughs> I actually kind of miss, uh, goes, uh, Raichu, it's it's so adorable. It's so it's so awesome. Um, they might remove Gary and Iris for that update opening. What do you mean? What what? Wait wait wait. What what do you mean that they remove Iris and Gary? No 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 no. They they cannot do that to us. If they if they do that to us and they they only they only put Gary and Iris in the opening here to tease us and get our hopes up. Only for them to never ever return. I am going to be pissed. I'm going to shred my shirt up. And I am going to rage. 100%. I would also like to see a 6 versus 6 someday. 
I agree. 100%. I agree. We need to have a 6 vs 6. Bring me it and Serena back. <laughs> I absolutely love their dynamic. It was so it was so great. And one of the biggest catalysts when it came to the rivalry was uh, their affection for Ash. And Miet was always teasing Serena over that. <laughs> oh, man. I want to see Ash's Incineroar back. Yes, me too. Without a doubt. Without a freaking doubt. Right? Like, we need to see Incineroar back. Now I would love to see Chad come on in Lucario against B once more. A redeem... Yes! A redeeming... Like, okay... First off, the Ash versus B rematch needs to be three versus three. And my ideal three Pokemon, if I was in Ash's shoes, it would be, without a doubt, Dracovish, Come On, and Lucario. So that way, Come On can get his uh, redemption versus B, and also uh, have Lucario get his redemption versus B as well. And also have our boy Dracovish get some damn love and battling experience too. You know what I mean? <sighs> wow. <laughs> huh. I am really, really pumped up, guys. But <clears throat> with that being said, though, I'm going to go ahead and end the stream off right here because I there's a lot of content I got to work on for you guys, all right? Like, so much hype right now. It's, 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 it's unbelievable. It's absolutely unbelievable. And... With that being said, I want to say thank you guys so very much for watching and tuning in, taking time out of your guys' days, evenings, nights, what have you. Taking time out of your days to come here and be a part of the experience and making this experience so, like, a million times better. Like, you have no idea how much you guys enhance the overall experience when it comes to these type of live streams. You guys are absolutely amazing. Don't you guys ever forget that. We are at 65 likes. Thank you so very much for all of the support, guys. So with that being said, if you guys do truly enjoy what you see here, thumbs up the like button and also subscribe as we do this type of thing. Every single week there is a brand new episode. Wow. <laughs> I definitely need to have some time to process the amazing, amazing action we've seen here in this episode. And also... I want to remind you guys that I do have a second channel, Crash Your Talks and More. I actually just recently uploaded a video on there. Um, and it was it was a very uh, kind of off-the-cuff ramble type of video. Uh, I haven't done that type of video in quite some time, but like I just kind of wanted to, uh, you know, really uh, you know, get some uh, get some thoughts that I've had on uh, in my mind and my in my heart out to you guys for a while. So if you guys do like the idea of um, of a more serious approach from me. I do have a second channel, Crasher Talks and More. Um, I also try to do daily uploads on there, like I do on here. So if you do enjoy a more serious side of me, as well as, you know, seeing some different content that you don't see on this channel, then definitely consider subscribing to Crasher Talks and More as well. So, with that said, guys, thank you so very much for 73 likes. Thank you so very much, especially for an amazing time. I cannot say this enough! Truly, thank you so very much. <laughs> Have yourself a damn good one, and I am at an absolute loss for words, so I will see you guys in the next live stream. Take care of yourselves, and I'll see you next time. Woo!